It's all in the report. Oh, I read it. Except there's no mention of me telling you to Delta the fuck out of there. Yeah, no biggie. Not like that cyber psycho was a tank on two chrome legs. What the fuck were you thinking? There's a reason Max Tag exists, you know. Civilians were in danger. What was I supposed to do? I was always interested in looking around. What the fuck? Radiation, your set corp, we can help. That is fucking horrifying. Three mouths, one desire. All right. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I wonder how these look on me. All right, all right. Oh, nope. I don't mind at all. All right. Hey, Jackie! Where, where's the car? And where's your fucking... Oh, hello, what the fuck? NCP Hustler Scanner Hustles. The NCP will pay you to help fight crime. Gigs, Fixer will contact you when you approach a gig's location. Fixers, the intermediaries, will inform you about local gigs available. Mm. Man of the hour. <laughs> Jeez, took you long enough. Worked up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Didn't figure you was a type for Asian. Would have thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Check. Since sirloin? Check. It's some more Chile action up in here, and you're looking at Mama Wells' signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? <laughs> Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that it's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Badass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated coup. Alright. Dex saying how this. I thought Dex bounced out of the ring a few years ago. Messed with the nasty crew in Pacifica. Things got ugly. Mm hmm. Gang wars two years back. Somehow Dex got caught up in the craziness. A lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. Yeah, Dex got lucky though. Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. Took a while, but he's made one hell of a comeback. Well, now. Something about the stinks. Eyes up to his elbows in blood, Jack. You want to shake his hand? Work with him? It's the biz, V. Everyone's got blood on their hands. You deal with it. You move on. How'd you manage this? How'd you manage to pull this? Trading your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? No. Oh, but t -Buck, she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. All right, so what is it exactly? So what's the gig? We're meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal, he's riding on you now, I see. Wait, why me? Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. All right. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. No, not really. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. I don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is a real deal. I'm 
the way around fixers. Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, Dios. Bueno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust off with the scabs. Thanks, man. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. You can call your active vehicle to your current location. Let's be. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Yeah, let's go. Let's feel this factory new ride. Call vehicle. The Hella ECD. I. 360. Oh wow, that was fast. I dreamed a dream of an endless sea. Arasaka at the helm. Oh god. First stop. Ripper Duck. And Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. Oh. I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me and Misty. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? Okay, first off. Some of me switch cameras, what? Oh, here we go. Hold up. This is like GT. <laughs> oh, let me see if I can drift in this. Okay, you cannot drift in it. That's unfortunate. What's this? Well, it's 2019 in the surrounding area. You may come across valuable containers. Oh, this is a fast travel. Oh god, the frame rate. Yeah, this is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting. Alright. Well, hash out what Dex has cooked out for us. But you are not the masters of your memories. For your eyes, yeah, that guy is. Oh. Do you truly believe Just gonna scan everybody. Checking them out? Hmm. Oh, in here. Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little kitchen up to do. All right. You look pleased. Because I am. Always. Makes for easier living. But... We got a new job lined up. Those who have sold you your mechanical eye have resisted the temptation to peek through them. Is it going to be dangerous? Don't you worry, mi amor. We're bulletproof. I don't know about that, Chief. Anyway. Let's go and get some... Oh, hello. What's this? Wait. Oh, there's a cat! Hi, buddy. You can pet cats! Please tell me there's a dog. Is there a dog? I need to see if there's a dog. Now I need to find a dog. No, that's my car. You can pet cats! They're so cute. I walked on the cat. Whoops. Good kitty. You're an adorable little shit and I love you. Though common practice, cyborg installation is still a dangerous and invasive procedure which can only be performed by qualified specialists, Ripper Docs. There are several Ripper Docs operating throughout Night City who offer a variety of different software cyborg upgrades. 
Select your desired cyborn cybernetic upgrade from the list and enjoy your new abilities. Vicky, surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, B. Oh wow. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Well, met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But, something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Yep, sounds right. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Oh. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Alright, alright. Chair, please. Sit down and relax. All right. You're the boss. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got and should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. All right. Kuroshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. Huh. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. I'm into that, thank you. I like this guy. I like Victor. Victor's nice. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Oh, God. Cybernetic implants are mechanical replacement for the organic parts of your body. They can give you superhuman-like abilities which can improve your combat capability and help you survive in hazardous conditions. Although common play practice in 2077, the installation of cyborg is still an invasive and sometimes dangerous medical procedure. Only specialists known as Ripper Docs are trusted to install cyberware safely. Alright, available items. Let's see here. Ballistic Core Processor, and let's see what else. Kiroshi Optics. Micro Generator. Ooh. Like that. Oh, that's too much. That's too rich for my blood. Skeleton. Too rich. Too rich. Too rich. Too fucking rich. Crap. Well, that sucks. Mm. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. I just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Gotcha. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. All right. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. What's new? So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? Yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. 
I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. That's good. That's good. All right. Well, here you go. I have my arm. Just like that. Thanks. Just like you want it. A bit of anesthetic, and I can start cutting. Oh. Feel anything? Oh. Same as always. Don't feel a thing. You ask me that every time, you know? Not as if things are gonna be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what do I know? I'm just a doctor. Huh. That's what I thought. Alright. Lights out for a minute, alright? Oh god, that's uh okay, that's so weird. Let's just this. See the magic in action. Just linking you in. Oh what the fuck? You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh. Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Scanning people. Scanning people with the optical cyber can provide you with a lot of useful information, such as how strong an enemy might be, or who's in their crew, or what type of weapon they use. As a skilled netrunner, you can see a list of quick hacks that you can use against your enemy. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Alright, database of wanted persons. A database of individuals with bounties assigned to them is now available to use. You can identify these wanted persons with their scanners. Since all are wanted, dead or alive, the method you use to claim your reward are entirely up to you. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Okay. Ooh. What about the virus? What about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Awesome. Thanks, man. Dude, this guy is like fucking amazing. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now and another two in an hour. All right. What's this? What am I looking at? A mild stem. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Okay. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. All right. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Oh, trust me, I won't. I like him. He's nice. I appreciate him. Up, you idiot. And what's taking so long? Move your ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. Anything red. <sighs> Thank V. Yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. Oh, really? He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. All right. Thank you. Do you truly believe 
that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted the temptation. Oh, hello. Baby, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I call. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. Mm. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Yeah, hmm. Crystal. Incapacitating enemies. There are various ways to incapacitate enemies while killing them. Non-lethal takedowns, non-lethal quick hacks, non-lethal weapons, EMP grenades, and some combat gadgets. Weapon mods that change damage to non-lethal. If given weapon, combat gadget, or quick sh quick hat deals non-lethal damage, it will be mentioned in the description. Street cred. Performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the Night City Underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. Ricochet weapons. Powerful power weapons allow you to control the direction of a bullet ricochet. If you have ballistic coprocessor cyberware and the trajectory generator mod for Kuryo. Kiroshi optics installed. <laughs> meant to do but here take a body I'll take that this city only gonna get worse I bet anyway I'll be more than happy to just like take everything. You're just a bitch. Fuck you. You shot at me straight up. Well. Hello. Cheers. Ah, this is fucking Dex. Yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Sure. Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? Hmm. Is this some sort of test? This is some sort of test? Eh, just a pet topic of mine. You mean... riddles? No, Mr. V. Ontology. Alright, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Alright, why me, me? Why the show? Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, 
Got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Alright. The job. Let me hear it. What is it? What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. The job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Shocker. Surely that's no problem. Uh, well, it's, that's a death sentence, but... <laughs> Corpse don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Klein who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Okay. Klein. Tell me about her. Klein. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> Anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Mm. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. All right. Well, about Maelstrom, what's the issue? What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Alright. What's this? Ugh. I got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Cause if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, cause Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Oh, lovely. Royce guy. Who is he? Royce guy. What's he like? A straight psychopath. Chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that. Except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. Well then. Who's the woman? Madonna. Corpo agent. Internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Thank you. All right. I think I know I, think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is going to be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or a blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Yeah. Take care.